Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. So this past weekend, I decorated for a first birthday party and I was super excited because I don't get that many kids birthdays. It was a wild one theme and the parents wanted to go all out for their son, all right? So we had jungle animals, there was a dessert table, there was a welcome table. So let's get into the setup and make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because of course, I have some lessons learned for you. All right, so let's get started.
All right, guys. So that was the first birthday party. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was the nicest first birthday party that I have ever decorated. That dessert table, plus they had Mickey Mouse. You guys know I love Mickey Mouse. I was like a little kid when I seen Mickey Mouse come in. And then they even had a petting zoo outdoors. I mean, they really went all out for this birthday party. I just felt so blessed that I was even able to take part in it. I mean, God is so, 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 so good with the opportunities that he brings my way, all right? So let's get into the lessons learned. So there were some things that I missed because I was so busy preparing for my Thanksgiving, all right? So the first lesson that I have for you guys is if you are providing a cake stand for your client, you wanna make sure that you ask your client what the size of the cake is, okay? And you also wanna ask them, how big is the cake going to be? Because I brought a cake stand that I feel like was more lightweight. And when I seen the size of that cake, I'm like, oh no, this is not gonna be able to go on this cake stand. So thank goodness I brought extra cake stands and one of them was actually lower to the table and that made me feel more comfortable because the last thing that I wanted was for that cake to tip over. I mean, it was so beautiful, right? I didn't want anything to happen to that cake. But the cake stand that I ended up using was a little bit smaller than it needed to be. So make sure if you're providing a cake stand for your client, you always wanna make sure that you ask what size is the cake and how big is it so that you can determine what cake stand that you're gonna use. Another lesson that I have for you guys is to make sure that you're giving yourself enough time to set up the dessert table, okay? That is going to be a very important part of the event. Most people are gonna come to take pictures just of that dessert table. So you wanna give yourself more than enough time to set it up, put the decorations on it, and then add your desserts, okay? So when you're allocating your time, you wanna give yourself at least 45 minutes just to set up that dessert table. And for this event, I did not think that it was gonna take that long, okay? So now I know going forward, if I'm gonna do a dessert table, I need to at least give myself 45 minutes just to set it up. And another thing, guys, so when I set up dessert tables, I bring gloves, okay? So I bring some latex gloves with me so that I'm not touching the desserts with my hands. I see a lot of people picking up desserts when they're setting the dessert table with their hands. And I know, you know, you could wash your hands beforehand, but we're in COVID, you know, we're still coming out of COVID. And even if it, it wasn't COVID, I mean, for me personally, I feel more comfortable when people are handling my food items and my desserts with gloves on okay so that's another thing if you're going to be setting a dessert table where you're putting the desserts on the table i would always recommend bringing some gloves so that you don't have to touch it with your hands and here's the last thing i forgot my cake stand at the venue okay so now i'm gonna have to go back to the venue thank goodness it's not too far and pick that up but all I can think about is what if it was a venue that was really far from me? Because there are times where I travel an hour or an hour and a half just to get to the venue. And I don't wanna be forgetting you know, my decorations there. So when I'm preparing for an event, and I'm packing my truck, what I do is I create a list of everything that I need. And then I load the truck and make sure I check off everything that's on my list. And what I think I'm gonna start doing is using that same list when I go back to the event and clean up to make sure that I have everything and I'm not forgetting anything at the venue, okay? And this is gonna be especially important when you start to expand your business because that's what I'm thinking about now. When I hire a cleanup crew to go back to the event, they're gonna need a list to know everything that they need to clean up, all right? So that was a lesson learned for me to make sure that I have some sort of list when I'm cleaning up the event. All right, guys, so those were my lessons learned for you. I hope they were helpful. Make sure you check the description of this video for all the materials that I'm using, all right? If you have any other questions, please let me know, and I'll see you in my next video.